And I want to send a shout out to Butcher Banton. My condolences to his family. The last son, because nobody knows how to lose a son, you know. You see me? And some of the little man, they will say all kinds of things and all kinds of mixed messages over here. I say. Nobody don't know what happened in a nobody family. So you see, if you don't know something, don't get involved in it here. Leave it alone. So people, everybody I wonder how the rumor started circulating about Leona Bradshaw being pregnant for a policeman at the St. Catherine Lockup. Now sources say Miss Bradshaw is the victim of a smear attempt by at least two of her fellow detainees at the St. Catherine Lockup. We've been told that one of the women has confessed to making a false report to the police claiming that Miss Bradshaw has been having sexual relations with a policeman in exchange for preferential treatment inside the lockup. Wanna hear that people? So two of the women are two women go in farm Pali or Bradshaw says she deal with a policeman because she want preferential treatment inside the lockup. And then the woman go, go confess say she was making a false report. So people the woman who made the false report, she don't forget prosecuted. If I say go then, touch out. Because what kind of allegation that no, you are going to your cell and go drop on somebody. Somebody like Leo that no, you know, so them things they go, go viral. Right? Yes, that's a mystery, you know. So, if I say go for true, that person will make the mystery supposed to get charged. Talk it true, people. And now, you are here all different type of story. Story about hospital. Stories the police move. Stories say two weeks ago this news had come out, but we never hear about it. All different type of something I talk right now. So, <laughs> you see me now, people, me tell you the truth. Me just hope say nothing go so. Me hope say a truth say she never get pregnant and she wasn't pregnant. You hear me? I tell you. You see, just like what the man said in the video say, enough woman get pregnant in a cell there, and enough police have SEX with woman in there. Remember, it can go so be true. Because I say any wish part man de, and woman did enough. Them things that we go on. And you see when the when the woman them lock up in a prison eh? and the men them where they are work, them now look on them as criminal, you know. Because remember enough nice woman, enough nice sexy woman in there. Yes, some of them sexy and some woman where they are road. And them down there every day and I see woman. So then we want them. Of course them are going on them. All when you wrong, they know say wrong, but remember me say, the public na see it. So whoever done there, police are water with their name, they may want to take a piece. And the woman them done there too, and we want to give them a piece. They have to ask sweet neither because enough woman done there, I go fling themselves from police too. Talk it out, a real life. Yes, people, we have me say, anyway, man, they enough, and woman did enough. Enough things are going to go on. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> like, but... Put fun and joke aside now people Cliff Hughes have a question for ask the commissioner of police Because him say yesterday The journalist them never asked this question When the commissioner of police gave his statement On Leona Bradshaw and the policeman that was removed So listen this now Just to a note here Based on what the commissioner said about that those allegations I think it, it should be noted yes that what the commissioner said it in full yesterday you know the police heard about these rumors allegations weeks ago as I told you was it last week we had heard about the rumors we had heard the rumors two weeks up before and we did our own checks well the police heard those rumors as well and Commissioner Blake made it clear that having heard the rumors, what the JCF did was to immediately begin its checks and investigations. And in order to do that, it did the prudent thing of removing from the space that lockup 
the policeman who was being accused of being uh, the, what is the word? The pregnator. <laughs> yes, they removed him. Yeah, to facilitate, yes, their checks. And as it turned, turned out, there is no basis to the rumors. What the journalists at the press briefing yesterday didn't follow up by asking the commissioner. While there is no truth that Bradshaw is pregnant, what else did they find out? Was this policeman having sexual relations with her? And if so, what happens in such, in such instances? Yes. Nobody asked the commissioner that. Well, I'm asking the commissioner. Yeah? What did your checks reveal in terms of what really happened between, I gather it's a constable, a young constable. Yeah? Were you able to establish that they were indeed getting it on? And how? Where? And what has happened? <laughs> Were you able to establish that they were indeed getting it on? And how? And where? <laughs> oh, Cliff, you said I was sitting up, but people, let me tell you something, man. The only reason why you hear about this now sitting up is because of Leona Bradshaw. You say if it was somebody else, you would have never heard nothing about it. But you say because she's a public figure and fear name always depends on top. Because I remember, you know, as she, them say, do that and do that. So fear and him always in the media. Fear and him, they're on the top of the algorithm. Once you say Leo the Bradshaw, remember, everybody know who you attack. See? So fear and him go viral with this or something. Yeah. Maybe other things happen, you know. But you know, hear about it. As we Cliff you say, ask about that the relationship there. Were they having a sexual relationship? And why this woman just jump out of the blues and go make a false report say Leona Bradshaw is having a relationship with a policeman because she wants preferential treatment. Eh? Like why? How? Eh? You understand people? So something not right somewhere along the line if you true true true. Something go wrong. But me hope say it is not a cover up story for the pregnancy. Believe me, no people. I would have never liked for no say this woman got pregnant inside her cell right there and have to go take abortion. Me wouldn't like to know that. Me wouldn't like to know that because at the end of the day, the baby is an innocent baby. Yes, no matter what she do, you know, the baby with well, water in her belly if I saw go, would be an innocent child. So we wouldn't want that to happen. So that's why I say, me wish you know go so for true. Yes, me just hope say all of this about the pregnancy part a rumor and it never happened. Because people here about hospital now and people are wondering if abortion make God Almighty know. Father God, take the case and give me the pillar. People big up on yourself. I am out.